Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. Today we're Lang Lang Proving Grounds. So this is an old test facility used by Holden back in the day here in Melbourne. We are here with the Porsche Club of Victoria. There is a hint of a test track here, a skid pan somewhere over there in that direction, and also a loop. So we're gonna take the 930 out today and have a blast. Be prepared for this. There's a few of us here already. I think numbers were highly restricted today. The proving ground and testing facility is over that way somewhere. So all, we're all kind of queued up waiting to go in. I think we roll in at 9.30, probably leave about 3.30. Uh, not many people come here, so it is a bit of a privilege today. So we're looking forward to it. So just before we go in, I think it's worth taking a bit of a walk around this car. So early three litre, right hand drive, 9.30. And like a, I don't know, oak green maybe? Tan interior. This is gonna be fun to watch. Going around the dome. R930 just sat behind it, but that is a very special car here today. The plan at this stage is to roll in and we're going to get a group photo so people are going to queue us all up. Apparently there's a chalet in here as well and then we are going to uh, get the rest of the briefing for the day. I think we're having a slow drive in. So there we go, circular track ride and handling and the skid pan is open here we go so here we are we're on what looks like there's probably a bit of a runway or test yeah. area at some point and we're lining up all the cars for a photo here we go so i think we'll see who rolls in So everybody's heading off to the chalet to get some coffees. Here are all the cars. So I'm kind of hoping we've got some drone footage. We have been really, really bad with that lately. So I'm not too sure how that will go. R930 here. We are next to the early three litre 930. There's a collection of really nice cars here. right old range as well that's a nice color and then we have got a bit of a couple of stragglers with the 360 the lanciers here got a brand new 911 here gt3 scoops on the front Very nice, sat there. Oh, it's actually a Challenge Stradale. That's a rare 360. A bit more Ferrari on the channel. Strangely, on a Porsche day, it is a manual car as well with a gated shifter. But yeah, there's a bit here today. And I spotted it earlier. This is a Miami Blue Cayman GTS. We are fascinated with Miami Blue at the moment. That looks great sat there. We have got another 930 here as well. I haven't seen this one around. So Martini livery, number two on it. It is an 80s car as well. Right and drive. I don't know if we can see. It's a four speed, yep, it's a four speed. But there's a few 930s around today and with the skid pan and the circuit, this is gonna get really interesting. Actually, that's a nice shot down there with the, uh, the bum sticking out. 
so the Lang Lang Proving Ground, um, established in 1957, obviously. Uh, so just a quick summary, 90 k's from Melbourne, um, about 2,100 acres. So we're right here, just on the edge of the, the skid pad. Uh, and there's an 18 pr uh, kilometre perimeter road that runs right around the facility. So in this photo here, uh, the facility goes all the way back up to the back of the property there. So Bass Highway down here. Uh, this is generally the, the flatter area of the proving ground. And then up the back of the property, this way, is the, the hill roads for the durability testing and performance testing, that sort of thing. A lot of the unsealed road network up that way as well. Uh, just to put some scale into this, this circular track which you've seen as you've come in, that's 4.7 kilometres in circumference. So it's quite a, a large uh, bit of infrastructure there. And that's got four lanes on it, so the, the lowest lane is 80 kilometres an hour, 100 kilometres an hour, 140, 180. So um, it's designed as parabolic in shape, so at 160 uh, kilometres an hour or a, a dollar in the old money, um, it's hands off the wheel and your car will just track around by itself. You can set cruise, hop in the back seat. That's, uh, uh, no. But no, seriously, you can, it's hands off the wheel, providing it's, it's not too windy and you can actually adjust your position on that bowl just with your throttle. You don't have to worry. If you want to go further up, you just tip in a little bit or back off and it'll come down again. So it's, a, it's an amazing uh, bit of road and it's the only type of road like this uh, in Australia. Road network is uh, about 44 kilometres in total of roads on the, on the facility. Uh, half of that is, uh, roughly half is sealed, half is unsealed. Uh, so this is the, obviously the circular track and within the circular track we've got this ride and handling loop which is about four kilometres long. Uh, and this is a, a massive asset for chassis tune. It's got a real mixture of, of different road surfaces, which I think we're going to do a tour on. We're doing R and H. Uh, so when we go on that, um, contrary to what a lot of people think, oh, you know, you work at the proving ground. There's a whole lot of race tracks around here. No, this is not a facility full of race tracks. This this road here can be very, very dangerous. It's very, very slippery. Um, most of the corners are off camber. Uh, there's mid-corner bumps, there's surface changes. So the idea is to unsettle the car as much as possible in, a, in the shortest period of time. And it's for the chassis tuners to tune the car to be as benign and safe and confident feeling as possible. Before we go on the high speed circuit, we are doing a bit of a tire shredding exercise. So on the circuit, it's a bit of a clover leaf, it's right hand turns. I'm hoping we're gonna get some footage of people doing it. We are not doing it at 930 because we've only relatively recently got new tires and we're off to Tasmania soon, so I don't need that problem. But we're gonna see if we can capture some of the cars doing it. GT3, we've got a speed step and we've got a collection of turbos and other cars doing it. So um, let's see how the tires go. cockles on we are flying the drone I think we got some really good shots of a 930 giving it some tail end flicking out this seems to be okay we feel a little bit queasy with it still but it seems to be working okay so I hope we got some cracking footage of this because the guys are having a blast look at them all lined up it's backing off Yeah. <laughs> 
He's still a, <laughs> a little bit of a step out. Yeah. On the skid pan i think the drone footage came out really well uh we are off to do the test circuit now with the ramp the we should just be able to take our hands off the steering wheel and just be able to coast around i'm not sure we're going to do that in the 930 but belter of a day sun's come out skidding in the 930 awesome we are about to hit the first section of the track Everybody else has just come back, so that happened really quickly, so we'll see how this goes. We've got the GoPro set up. Uh, really, not sure what's happening next, but let's see. We are about to go out on the track over there. This is going to be a bit interesting. I think we might have to put the camera down. We are parked on the bank. Here we go, we're taking some photos. R930 is up there, right on the slant. Then we might try and stand at the back of the cars to see what the view is kind of really like. There we go, we're at the back of the cars. We're still on the flat part of the circuit. There is another lane there, so there's one, two, three, four lanes there. And that's what it kind of looks like everybody's there it's been a belter of a day out that's for sure and look when you're up on the slant it's quite high there we go that's it that's it level and then that's probably it at a bit of an angle there we go it looks pretty good there cracking day out so I think we're all packing up, we're heading off home. Everybody's driving off now. We better get in on 930, which is a little bit of a pain on a slant like that because the door opens all the way open. There we go. What a belter of a day when we're heading off home. And that is our 930 parked up there. Brilliant. Cracking day out. Oh, Jesus. There we go. So there's our day from Lang Lang, the proving grounds, old proving grounds of Holden. Um, what a brilliant day. So thanks to everybody at the facility for organizing this today. A few of those lads were on a day off, so they've actually done a brilliant job by uh, coming in and helping us out. Of course, the Porsche Club of Victoria did an absolute stellar job organizing this for us today as well. We've had a blast, so the skid pan got to fly the drone, which I'm hoping we did actually do reasonably well. And then on that banked um, oval circuit, absolutely brilliant. 9.30's been great. We've had a cracking day out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel,